Hello, Cancer. Getting ready to do your reading. Okay, Spirit said to go to this deck to pull a card for you. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the message? New love. A new love or recommitment of love is developing. And one more, please. Take a leap of faith. Okay. So there could be someone new on the horizon. Spirit wants you to try something new do something it says the safe it is safe to make the move you're considering so some of you may be actually wanting to move if you've been thinking about that the answer is yes ten of wands is my moving card sometimes it's across town it could be out of state out of country but maybe that is what it takes to meet someone new now others of you taking a leap of faith could just be as simple as signing up for an, a class or you know going to that meetup or that club or that you know doing something a little bit out of your comfort zone. So Spirit's saying, yes, you're going to meet somebody new. If you take a leap of faith, it's safe. Okay, so what is going on for Cancer? Seven of Coins. I guess somebody is good with numbers. You're good with taxes or you're good with... Um, I'm getting like accounting or bookkeeping or taxes or something like that all of a sudden with that car for some reason. I guess someone else was very organized or you want to be more organized or maybe you're really good at organizing other people. But I get like organization. It's kind of like a something when you're um, very neat or tidy or organized or good with numbers or, you know, very smart or just meticulous or something that's coming through for me. I get um, somebody is going to, somehow that's going to work in your favor coming up. It's something out of the blue. It's something you don't see coming. It's just, I don't know. I don't know if someone notices your organization skills at work or at your home or something, and it just it benefits you in some way. Okay. But I do see you opening up more. I see the four of coins, the two of coins, the seven of coins. So I kind of feel like there's this change for you that's slowly happening, and you are becoming more... Okay, they're saying seen. Someone is seeing you. You are going to be seen. I also feel like some of this is you doing new things or trying new things. You're going new places. I get there's some place in the mall someone has been visiting. It's a store you've been going to. You don't normally shop there or go there, but you started going there a little while ago. Now you go there like every week or something like that every other week and, and buy something. Or I'm not sure what they're telling me or showing me, but okay. Wow. Don't be worried about, you know, getting out there and being seen. Don't withdraw. Take that leap of faith. Someone is going to approach you. I'm also getting something like starting a TikTok or starting a YouTube. But it doesn't have to be about you. Maybe it's you're not even in the video. It has to do with your skills or it has to do with your pet or it has to do something like that. Because look what's under the deck, the Queen of Wands. I feel like somebody is admiring you or will be admiring you. Admiring your skills, uh, something about you. You're going to be invited to something, Cancer, and they're saying to go, to not to not be shy, to not withdraw. You may be meeting, meeting a Virgo or a Sagittarius, but there is a message here. There could be something about, I, I am, I'm getting moving for some of you. Um, again, taking that leap of faith, being invited to something. You may be meeting a Leo. You're really good at something. You have a hidden talent that you haven't found yet. That's what I'm picking up as well. Like you can make a lot of money from something that you know how to do, that you take for granted. I'm getting something to do with a new apartment or studio, or I don't know if it's if that's an office or something as well, like a corner office is what I kind of picked up. You may be signing a contract too coming up here. I get some of you are going into to movies or theater or something like that. I feel also there's someone who like, you're gonna sign a contract, they're sitting there. This person likes you, but you're not, I don't know if you're gonna date them in the future, but at the time being, you're not going to be. It's like they're, the lease manager or they're the office manager or they're the hiring person or something. It's kind of a weird energy I'm getting with you guys. There's something that's going to unfold for you that you don't really see coming. I do get some of you are going to be in either theater, plays, um, um, television, acting, modeling coming up here soon. I feel like some of you have been putting together you maybe been going to classes for this or you've been studying for something and you have more skills than you realize. What is going on in Cancer's love life? Because it says new love. So something is leading you toward a new person as well. This whole thing, I think, is leading you towards somebody new. You have good fortune coming to you. 
You don't see it yet. You don't think that it's happening, but it is. Who is this new person? They may be a Libra Sagittarius or a Leo specifically. Let me go to a different deck. Let's see if we can call them out. Oh, I just saw the Three of Wands and a King of Coins. They might be an Earth sign, but who is this new person for Cancer? Well, you can't meet them staying at home necessarily, but they may be a Virgo. There could be someone who is watching you. It may be within five days, five weeks, but things are changing for you. You're going to Empress status. So it's like you're in the, going to be in the spotlight, Cancer. Does that make sense for you? Are you going to receive an award for something as well for some of you? Somebody may have to visit their family member. It could be a mother, a feminine energy. So it could be a grandmother, an aunt. I'm getting the word also nurse is coming through for somebody. I'm sorry this is so like, I don't know how you would say, like kind of choppy, but there's a lot of messages coming through. I'm getting something to do with arguing with this person, but I'm also getting there's a nurse involved. Maybe you're trying to take care of an elderly family member or elderly person, and they're being very hard to deal with. I think that situation, you're going to find some sort of solution for that situation if that pertains to you. I feel like someone else may come in and take over. I feel like somebody else is going to have your back on that situation. Okay. See, there's somebody here longing for you in the background, though. As all the messages are coming through Cancer, there's someone else who thinks about you. That page of coin is my longing card, and they're looking at pictures of you, looking you up online, thinking about you. They might be a Pisces. I feel like this person is spiritual. Look, it could be a trustworthy soulmate. So I split the deck. Who is this person? Describe this person for Cancer so they'll know who they are when they see them. Someone who is health conscious, this could also mean they're in the health business. Um, something, you guys will be a perfect match. Now, a perfect match, you might meet this person on like match.com. I don't normally get that, but I'm getting that for you today. And again, they may be physically active. So again, you can meet them doing something like running a marathon or a 5K or something, or um, like that's totally not something you would do. Don't worry about it. Remember I said leap of faith? I'm trying to pull in other ideas what they're giving me because there's a lot of different people viewing if you don't like to run i don't but um if you don't want to do things like that this person is just describing that maybe they are physically active they're healthy i'm getting like protein shakes or bars with this person i don't know what that means or maybe you go someplace and order one okay they're gonna have dark hair and eyes but they may also have fair and light features so i don't know if that can combo can be the same person I don't think so, but then again, there's a lot of people watching, so they're giving us both. But this person is confident. You might know them through a friend, a best friend, or you will become best friends. They could be in their 40s, late 30s, early 50s, but somewhere around this age. And they do have an adventurous spirit. They're showing me an eagle in the sky. I don't know why if that's a totem animal for someone, or it could be a hawk too, but something that soars. Is there an airplane? Is it Alaskan? Is there an airplane with an eagle on the side of it? Someone's traveling. Someone is taking a trip coming up here, and they may be flying on that particular airline. But that seems to be significant. Something that's soaring through the air. Seeing things from a higher perspective, Cancer. Seeing something differently. Something is changing for you. Okay, all I know is things are going to change for you. They're getting better. Also, the world can mean towards the beginning of the new year. Ending of one year, the beginning of a new year. You could be receiving messages from this person. I'm getting their name could be Greg. Okay, but in the meantime, practice self-love. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Do things that you love to do. Don't be afraid to turn down invitations or things that you really don't want to do or go to that you know are going to be draining. But again, don't forget to take this leap of faith. The leap of faith is something you really want to do. Yes, maybe it makes you a little nervous to do it, but it's something that you want to do. 
but they are saying try to avoid people, family, groups, activities that you really don't want to do this season. If you want to say no to things, it's okay. Spirit's not pushing you to go to things you don't want to go to just in hopes of meeting someone new because that's not where this person's at. I'm getting there's a specific thing you want to learn or do or go see or move or travel or something. Listen to your intuition and follow it. If your gut says don't go to something, don't go. If your gut's saying try this, it's going to be okay. Do it. See, there's an owl here, but that talks about wisdom and intuition. But there are birds, a lot of birds. I'm seeing, but I specifically saw like it, uh, an eagle though. Direction. See, I'm getting something about you guys are going to start soaring. You guys are going to change directions very quickly. There is a new opportunity and something that's very big. Like I'm saying, like being in the spotlight, becoming, and if, if you're not wanting to act or be an actress or be on the stage or be in front of people, that's okay. You're still going to shine and be very happy with the outcome that's coming in for you. I'm getting someone you're going to make a lot of money online. I get there's something you just know how to do well. Other people don't. Like again, like let's say you're very organized. There's a lot of people who would love to learn to do what you do or how you do or what, where they need to buy. What, what do they need to buy? I feel like some of the stuff online is outdated. It's by people who've been doing that for years. They want fresh, younger, or new view viewpoints. So if that makes sense, it's kind of like the stuff online isn't really outdated, but yet it is to a lot of people. It's been up for 10 years. They want new people with giving advice. They feel like the stuff online is canned. It's old. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I get like you would be like a breath of fresh air. It doesn't matter your age. You don't have to be young. I'm not saying it's like that. I'm just saying it's new. It's new information. So don't say, oh, everyone already is doing that. It's already there. It's already done, been done. People want new people that they can, can connect with is what they're telling me. Okay. And then serenity, be at peace. Things are going to work out. It's very, very interesting. Bright future. Your reading does not really want to focus on the new person. I don't feel like they are not giving us a specific really person, king or queen. Just that you're going to be very happy. And even when they gave us a description, they included most everyone, light and dark. So they're kind of showing us that, you know, don't be like searching for this person. They're going to just appear. You don't have to be searching. It's going to happen for you. You don't have to give it your full attention. In fact, that's what spirit doesn't want you to do. They want you to do other things in the meantime. And they are going to bring this person to you when the time is right. And, you know, maybe you least expect it. All right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.